What were your thoughts about how your team played tonight? Well, we played with a lot of effort. Um, they're very hard to play against. I mean, you can see, I think we, one of you talked about it before the game, but, you know, they actually, in terms of, how do they call it? It's like strength of wins. You know, they were first in the NBA. I mean, because of the teams they had beaten. They had beaten the Lakers, Brooklyn, Philly, Boston twice, uh, New Orleans, whatever. And you can see they're very hard to play against. Physical. Um, they got a number of guys who can drive the ball to the basket, and they're very disciplined. So it was, uh, it was a good win, very hard fought. We put a lot into that game. Dan Savage. Uh, Cliff, Evan and Vooch have obviously been staples of this franchise for a long time, but just how impactful was that duo tonight? Oh, they were great. I mean, uh, right right from the beginning of the game. I mean, uh, they're, uh, you know, and, and, and I think also in terms of uh, talking to their teammates, I think they're showing great fight, great determination. They understand that this is a big stretch for us and these are important games. And I think they also, they all get a feel, I believe, that we're playing better. And our defense tonight was very good again. And um, I think we're starting to get a better understanding of how we have to play in order to be more consistent. Aaron Goldstone. Coach, I'm sure you're, you're happy to get the win, but you play this team again on Tuesday. How big on the scouting report will it be to try to limit Detroit's second chance opportunities and, and you know, physicality in the paint on Tuesday night? I think that's the biggest thing before watching the film. That's what I just told the guys is uh, they're, you know, they're physical. That was a big point of emphasis coming into the game. But, uh, you know, the rebounding game and then also, again, you know, we gave up too many fast break points. But I would I, I agree with you. I think that's going to be the number one point for Tuesday. Um, and again, they're very hard to play against. So we're going to have to have the right right amount of energy and the right amount of physicality. Alex Fleming. He took my question, but I, I want to bring a point of emphasis. You guys did win and you didn't get dominated down low, but they did have five players in double figures. So Detroit's one of those funny teams where anybody can go off. Is there anything that sticks out to you other than the offensive rebounds that you saw from tonight? Yeah, the drives into the paint, um, you know, uh, you know, especially like the, uh, you know, Grant, Jackson, um, Lee, you know, those guys, they, they had a bunch of drives into the paint. And uh, I, th I think they're, I don't know exactly what number, but I think they're top, top eight or nine uh, in drives into the paint for the year. And again, we'll have to do better with that on Tuesday also. Uh, Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cliff, just, just how nice has it been to, to have some depth and, you know, to have two games where you have the same players available? I, I assume that has to, to, to help uh, both from a minutes perspective and, and giving the, the group a number of options. Yeah, no question. And uh... – you know, I mean, it's it's uh, I, you don't have guys out there playing 39, 40 minutes, you know, night after night. So it's uh, it's good. And, you know, hopefully we can stay healthy and, you know, continue to play better. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. What were your initial impressions of how Farouk played tonight? Uh, good. Um, you know, he he created some things with his defense. You can see he's very active off the ball. Um, I think the team's always going to execute when he's out there. He has a great feel for, you know, NBA team organization, which is critical in our league. Um, you know, and he's versatile. You know, he can play inside. You know, eventually we'll get him down closer to Chuma two into, into the post some. Um, and, you know, right now he's just trying to get his, you know, get his rhythm and get his conditioning level. Aaron Goldstone, Orlando Pinstripe Post. Coach, you know, Evan's always been in his career able to, to shoot the basketball and score. But when you think about this year in particular and how important he's been to your team and how he's battled through, you know, the, the back issues, is this the most impactful Evan has been uh, while you've been here in Orlando? I mean, I'd have to think so. You know, last year, from an efficiency standpoint, I believe was his best year of his career. 
in terms of total package offensively. You know, he shot, I think, like 39-5 from three. Um, what he did tonight, I thought so well, was, you know, he drove the ball hard and he got to the free throw line. And uh, that's, you know, obviously for our team, that's not an area of strength and is something that we badly need. But he's playing at a high level. Uh, and you could see again tonight, I mean, he, he either turned his ankle or it, he uh, somebody stepped on his ankle and Evan is a mental uh, physically and mentally tough guy, very tough. And he's playing, you know, he's not a hundred percent physically, but he wants to be out there and he's playing very well. Alex Fleming, Florida sun. The playing time of Chumo Kiki is slowly rising. Uh, what did you think of him tonight? Even though he only had two points, but he was there on the defensive end. Same thing. I, I think he'll always play the same way. I think he's solid. Uh, he has a he has a high IQ, um, and he can play well at both ends of the floor. So those are tough matchups. You know, he's dart. He's defending Grant. He's defi- defending Jackson. Some, uh, and those guys are very very good players. And uh, I think he's getting more and more comfortable and more and more confident out there. Any final questions? Okay. Thank you, coach. Thank you.